Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen. This is Cargo Ship Captain. In this video, I would like to draw your attention to one interesting location in the Mediterranean Sea. Probably you wonder how long the war in Ukraine will last. Obviously, this is a very good question. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look to this part of Mediterranean Sea. This is Laconian Gulf, situated among the Greek islands. These green marks on the display are indicating the information received from transponder installed on every cargo ship. Uh, the red color is the tanker ships or the ships are carrying dangerous cargoes. And the green ships are ships which are not possessing so much danger for the environment. The main question of this video is what all these ships are doing here? Why they came to the middle of the Laconian Strait and why they stay there? So let's zoom in and try to get more details. What we can see here, this is very large crude oil carrier tanker, which can accommodate on board more than 300,000 metric tons of the crude oil. And nearby we can see another vessel, which is called Nizhny Novgorod. As you can see, it is much more smaller ship with the capacity a little more than 5000 metric tons. This is Russian flagged vessel, uh, port of registry is St. Petersburg and it came here from Port Kafkaz. If you don't know where it is, the Port Kafkaz is situated right here. This is the Port Kafkaz. In marine industry, it is very well known that such a huge ships are not used for transportation of any other cargo except the crude oil. And it is quite clear what these two ships are doing in the open sea. They are making ship-to-ship -ship transfer of cargo. In present case, motor tanker on rim uh, is accumulating cargo, which is uh, delivered from the port of Kaz from Russia uh, by the small tanker ships. So actually this vessel is a cargo shuttle and it is running between Laconian Strait and the Port Kafkas. And it is quite clear and obvious. What is the cargo transported by this cargo shuttle from the Russian port to the neutral waters close to the Greece? This cargo is crude oil. Russian crude oil. If somebody has forgotten what is the problem with Russian crude oil, I'll remind. The Russian crude oil is the main source of the income uh, of Russian Federation and this income is sponsoring the war in Ukraine. Using this money they are purchasing uh, equipment, uh, weapons, arms, ammunition, provision and all necessary resources uh, in order to keep going with the Ukrainian war. This money which Russian Federation is earning uh, exporting oil are used in order to pay high salaries uh, to the Russian soldiers. And this is widely known fact that Russian economy is uh, depending uh, from the oil export. If to stop this cash flow, the Russian Federation will not be able to uh, keep going with war. And actually that's why the community of developed countries and Western allies have imposed sanctions in order to restrict this crazy cash flow uh, to the Russian budget. However, it was very expected that the companies which are dealing with Russian oil uh, export will try somehow to bypass those sanctions. Some companies are trying to make a good money and even become more rich, uh, taking advantage on the situation. And this is actually the answer for the question, what all these ships are doing in the middle of the Laconian Strait. They are making white and legal papers for the Russian exported crude oil. Also, we can take a look to another pair of the ships. This is a tanker vessel with a capacity 112,000 uh, metric tons, which is making voyages between the Egypt and Laconian Strait. The another ship in this pair is the a tanker with the capacity of 112 metric tons. And it has arrived from Ustluga, the Russian port in the Baltic Sea. Also, we can check others who are making the ship to ships operation right now. Particularly these two ships, we can see the motor vessel Marlin Luanda with the uh, cargo capacity about um, 100,000 metric tons. Motor vessel Marlin Luanda has arrived to this anchorage from Morocco. And motor vessel Kingston has arrived to this anchorage directly uh, from the Novorossiysk. 
This is the biggest oil exporting port uh, of Russian Federation in the Black Sea. So it is pretty clear answer for the question what all these ships are doing here. They are making cargo ship to ship transfer. Who knows, maybe this video will be watched by somebody who is involved to this operations and uh, maybe the businessmen who are dealing with this bloody oil so i want to say thank you very much for sponsoring war and disaster in my country and question is how to put an end to this bloody cash flow if you have an ideas uh, i would appreciate if you will share this in the comments to this video for the moment this is all i was going to share with you if you have something to amend uh, please welcome to comments if you have some questions welcome to comments cargo ship captain was with you and see you in the next videos bye